Getty Poland wants the U.S. military in their country A Polish Defense Ministry proposal said Warsaw was keen to build deeper security relations with the U.S. since Poland's entry into NATO in 1999. The document cited renewed urgency after Russian President Vladimir Putin annexed the Crimea region of Ukraine four years ago. The document proposal for a U.S. permanent presence in Poland states, This proposal outlines the clear and present need for a permanent U.S. armored division deployed in Poland. Poland's commitment to provide significant support that may reach $1.50 minus $2 billion by establishing joint military installations and provide for more flexible movement of U.S. forces. It goes on to state that Warsaw is committed to, to share the burden of defense spending, make the decision more cost-effective for the U.S. government and delay any concerns for Congress in uncertain budgetary times. Poland is a steadfast ally of the United States and is committed to advancing our shared interests and values, which are increasingly being threatened by Russian interference. A permanent U.S. presence in Poland will ensure that both nations can continue to advance strengthen, and protect these values and interests. A U.S. permanent presence in Poland will provide U.S. allies on NATO's eastern flank with increased security and strengthen transatlantic security. Additionally, it will underscore U.S. commitment to maintain peace and security in Eastern and Central Europe and serve as it proposes locations of military bases, hospitals, including their capabilities, and even schools or gyms for military families. A former deputy to former Polish defense minister Antony Macierewicz told local news Onet that the proposal was drafted by senior officials and a group of Polish military officers. The document was sent to the U.S. government and Congress without consulting the foreign ministry and country's commander-in-chief and president Andrzej Duda. U.S. armed forces and NATO units rotate between being stationed in Poland and the three Baltic states to the north. The ambitious proposal comes just a month before NATO leaders are expected to meet in Brussels for a summit. The move is expected to anger Russia as European allies are trying to improve relations with Moscow such as Germany, according to Politico. Donald Trump has been a critic of NATO and has previously made threats to pull if other NATO allies do not commit to contributing up to 2% of their GDP. Getty Donald Trump has made threats to pull out. He said of his meeting with the German Chancellor, We talked about the security of Europe and the responsibility of European nations to properly contribute to their own defense. All member states must honor their commitment to 2%, and hopefully much more of GDP, on defense, he added, it is essential our allies increase so everyone is paying their fair share. A lot of countries have stepped up. They have to keep going, Poland has contributed 2% or more since 2015.